What's going on my ASVAB party people? Coach Anderson here and happy Tuesday if you're watching this the day this video came out. So yesterday we went ahead and did a class on linear equation word problems, this right here. So in this video we're going to do two follow-up questions to help you continue understanding and as always we have another class tonight for the full program members that way you can continue raising your scores and get the jobs that you want. So let's go ahead and solve these questions and let's see if we can continue helping ourselves out. So what did we watch or learn in yesterday's video? If you watched it, it was that, hey, first things first, as always, we got to read the question, figure out what we want. But then in terms of understanding, how do we know that we're dealing with y equals mx plus b? Remember, you need that initial value, that beginning amount. You need a rate. And then you need that thing that goes attached to the rate. So if we say dollars per hour, that's your rate. And then hours is the x. If it's, go ahead and say, uh, kilograms per teddy bear. Well, per teddy bear, teddy bears is gonna be X. The kilograms per teddy bear is your rate. And then you also have your final result. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this done, my part of people. What are we looking for here? It says, what is the base fee for renting the car? So immediately, does this sound like to you we're looking for the result, the slope, the X, the beginning amount? What does that sound like? Boom, right? That's the initial amount. That's the base fee. That's what you pay in the beginning right up front. So that's awesome. Let's go ahead and write out that equation. Y equals MX plus B. And again, we're looking for the base fee. So we want that right there. We want that B value. So again, with practice, you'll be able to spot that immediately. And then when you read the information about the problem, you'll notice that it says, hey, look, a rental car company charges the base fee plus an additional rate per mile driven. The total cost increases by 25 cents per, uh, for each mile driven. So right there, I spotted it. That's my rate, 25 cents for each mile driven. That's the same thing as saying per, 25 cents per mile. Boom, we have our rate, we have that M. 25 cents per mile. Boom, we have that. Next up, we see that it says the customer drives the car for 150 miles and the total cost is 87.50. So I think we can all agree that total cost right there, that's the final amount. That's the Y value. So we'll say Y equals 87.50. And then next up, we see that we have over here, we're driving for 150 miles. Where does that go again? How do we verify where that goes? Remember, read the rate. The rate says 25 cents per mile. The rate you multiply by the X or typically with distance rate time, rate times time. Typically your time is what you're depending on. And that's in this case, the number of miles that we drive. Booyah. So with that, we know that again, per mile, that's per X, per X. So that's going to be 150 miles. So now that we have all this, we're good. We can calculate and we're done. That's the hardest part because now this next part, we're transitioning to actually computing. So again, see it as two different phases. Step one, can we translate the English into math? And then step two, can we actually do the math? Continue focusing on one or the other until you're ready to do both. That way you could really count those little wins. So here we go. Let's plug everything in. Let's solve and let's have a good day. And then again, we have another question right after this. So stay tuned. So here, plug everything in. We have $100 or $87.50. And then our M is going to be 25 cents per mile. We are driving for 150 miles and we're looking for that beginning amount. Boom. We have it all set up and now it's time to actually perform the calculation. Sure, we're dealing with decimals, but that shouldn't cause you any sort of pause or hesitation at all. If we know it, we know it. And if we don't, we commit to practicing. That's how it goes. Here we go. So first things first, well, let's figure out what 25 cents multiplied by 150 is. One way to look at it is if you're multiplying by 0.25, that's the same as a quarter. So multiply by a quarter or divide by four and you can get that done. That'll be 37.5. Don't believe me let's go ahead and actually do 150 multiplied by 0 0.25 so i can show you i got gotcha. you so zero times five five times five is 25 
1 times 5 is 5, carry the 2 is 7. Next line, 0 times 2, 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 2 is 2, carry the 1 is 3. Add this together and we get 3750, two decimal places right there. And we have, again, $37.50. So again, knowing that mental math can save you that time right down there, helping you get the problem done much faster. So we have 8750 equals 3750 plus that initial value. The last step we need to take is to get rid of that 3750 by subtracting it on both sides and we are set my party people 3750 subtracted on both sides cancels on the right side and it gives us a flat 50 dollars and there it is that's the initial value that's the initial charge to go ahead and rent this car so again that's problem number one my party people answer here is going to be a congratulations if you got it and even if you didn't were you able to learn from the mistakes again let me know in the comments before we get started with this next one, my party people, give it a shot. And don't forget, tonight, if you're watching this video when it comes out, we have another class tonight. Just like with yesterday, where we have more practice test level questions, giving you every single opportunity to raise your score and get the job you want. So check out the full program, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB. Problem number two, my party people, let's go ahead and get it done. First things first, what do we always do? What are we looking for? How many miles did they drive? Okay, sounds good. I don't have the full context yet. I don't know where that would belong yet, but I do know that I'm looking for the number of miles. So I'll say miles equals blank. Cool. I don't want to assume anything yet. Let's let the problem develop in front of us. So up next, what do we have? A car rental company charges a base fee of $30 for renting a car plus an additional 15 cents per mile driven. If the customer's total bill is $75, how many miles? Okay, let's write everything down. Watch this. Base fee, that's the initial amount. Okay, base fee, that's going to be $30. And we can mark that as B if we'd like to. Next up, I noticed that it said an additional uh, 15 cents per mile driven. 15 cents per mile driven, that's a rate all day, per mile. So we have the rate. 15 cents per mile. Again, keywords, they matter. And then up next after that, the total bill, the result. That's the final value. That is going to be the Y. So the final is going to be $75. So we have everything we need. Do we know what miles is going to represent now? That's going to be the X because we know that the M multiplies by the X, 15 cents per mile. We're multiplying by the number of miles. This is X. So booyah, we know exactly what we're looking for. We're absolutely confident. Set up the equation, solve, and we're done. Y equals MX plus B. The Y is 75 is the final value. My slope is 15 cents per mile. The number of miles is X. And then we're adding that base fee of $30. Sweet. Now that we're here, solve this equation and we're done. So here we'll subtract the 30 on both sides. Booyah, cancels out, giving me 45 and that's gonna be equal to 0.15x. And then from here, lastly, we just divide both sides by 0.15. Right there and right there. And we are done, cancels out. We can say that that's gonna be 300 with some quick little mental math. You can do the work yourself there. But booyah, my party people, answer is C. And we're done. So there it is, my math party people. As always, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know if this helps you out because I'd love to make more. And then I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. If you got to the end of this video and you're thinking, yeah, that made a lot of sense, coach. But then when you try things on your own, it's not that simple and you tend to freak out and go through test anxiety again. Well, that means that you need to join my full program. No student who's finished my program has failed the test. That's a fact. So go ahead, text me or check out the link in the description of this video. That way you can see how thousands of my students have raised their scores and get the job they wanted. With that said, my party people, sign up, show up, and let's ace the ASVAB. Cheers.